uh, for Wesley. Um, I don't have the blueberry muffin. Ooh, um, do you have um, a banana loaf? Can I sub it out for that? Okay. Yeah, if you don't mind, that'd be great. That should be it. Thank you. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to another video. I just went and got Starbucks. Surprise, surprise. I got a banana loaf, and then I also got a... Um, pumpkin from cold brew the one that I always order holiday drinks come out in like a week which I'm so excited about this is the grande pumpkin cream cold brew with two pumps of white mocha I always get them to sub the white mocha for the vanilla or vice versa because to me the white mocha is just way better Luke is taking a car nap right now I just pulled into the parking lot of Ulta because I need to go in and get mascara that I'm out of I also need to get some hair ties because I'm also out of those and yeah, we're just having ourselves a little Thursday. It is, what is today? Yeah, Thursday. Um, and it's Halloween. So happy Halloween. Even though this will be going up after Halloween, but. I'm wearing a cute outfit too. This is a Princess Polly sweater and she did pants from Windsor. I love it. Okay guys, we are home now. I just finished feeding him. And I have some things to show you guys. One, his Halloween costume just came in. If you watched the last vlog, you know that I panic ordered this. So we're gonna go wash it so he can wear it tonight. It is, Alexa, what time is it? It's 2.53. So we have about three hours until the treating starts happening in our neighborhood. And why is this huge? This is not gonna fit him, but we're gonna pretend like it does. This is huge, buddy. I mean, oh my gosh, it's so big. But at least it came in, so we're gonna wash it and he's gonna wear it tonight, at least for a photo, but this is like huge. It's the only size they have is like three to six months. I think it's that, that's what I got. So yeah, we're just, Gonna go. Oh my gosh, it has a tail. Oh my god, this is so cute. Okay, so yeah, he's gonna wear this even though it's like really probably barely gonna fit him, but he's gonna wear it anyway, at least for a photo. And then I have him in his Halloween jammies right now. Like, how freaking cute. He wore these earlier this week too, but I, you know, dropped the ball on Halloween. I only bought him one pair of jammies for. Halloween, so it's fine. But this is his very first holiday. I'm so excited. Okay, I just went and put that in the wash. Next order of business is I got this dress in from Best Week to hopefully wear for our family photos next week. If you follow me on TikTok, you saw that the Princess Polly dress that I showed in the last vlog did not work out. It was just way too short. Like, it was a really cute dress, but it was just really short, and I don't think it would have mattered if I sized up. I think sizing up would have just made it like wider. Which, I didn't need it to be wider, I just needed it to be longer. So, that is so sweet. I So, if you've been following for a long time, you would know I used to work at Vestique. And I managed, kind of like co-managed two of the stores there for almost two years. Or a little over two years, maybe? Um, anyway, and so one of the girls packaged my order and she said, Congratulations on your baby boy, hope you're doing well. That was so sweet. Um, anyway, so she sent... The dress and i really hope that it looks cute on but this is the dress it's white and it has kind of the same vibe like bell sleeves um and i'm thinking with my tall boots it'll be cute i don't really know we're gonna try it on i'm gonna try it on for tiktok because that's like where we tried on the other dress and then i'll show you guys it on um but hopefully it's cute we'll see but that was such a sweet note. It made my day. Okay, dress is on. Actually, let me put you guys on this tripod really quick. Okay, dress is on. I don't know how I feel, so you guys let me know. I'm probably already going to have a decision by the time this video goes up. But with the long boots, I think it's cute. Um, I don't know. I just am going to post a TikTok and see what the tiktok people say but obviously i'm not gonna wear it with this headband so that might be throwing it off a little bit but 
yeah i just like have this vision in my head and i just can't find like the perfect dress for it so we might be switching it up completely but i mean i don't think this is like terrible like i'm not mad about it so we'll see all right i am up in our bathroom right now i'm about to try to do some cheetah spots on my face for being a cheetah obviously cheetah i'm a cheetah um looks to me a tiger bentley's gonna be a lion and then zach the zookeeper we already put his outfit together and it looks perfect um it's honestly really funny so anyway but i'm gonna try and do these cheetah spots i figure we can i could do it on camera but well, let's see okay i never wear eyeshadow anymore but i have these oh goodness i have these palettes from ysl that they sent me what in the world is happening um that they sent me so i'm gonna try and pick a color from these i think we'll go with this one this one's giving the most cheetah i think i'm gonna try and use this I saw this girl's um, TikTok of her doing it, doing the spots. I don't know, we're gonna try and do what she did. I saw someone in the comments say, if I did this, I would look like I had some kind of weird skin disease. So I'm really trying to avoid looking like that. Okay, I think that's good. My two like Okay. And then she goes in with like liquid eyeliner and does like kind of like little outlines around the spots. So we're gonna try that. Oh god, I'm nervous. Okay. <laughs> I'll just show you guys the end result, but this is what we have so far. Okay, I think that looks like leopard spots, right? I don't know if I should just do one eye or if I should do two. She did two, but I kind of just want to do one. I don't really like the idea of doing both. So, but I think I'm going to add, there's like a gold glitter in here. So I think I might add a little bit of that just to add some something. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, final look. I actually think it looks pretty good. And then I just put on this brown shirt and my cheetah pants. This is what I call a lazy Halloween costume. But it's all gonna come together and look really cute, I think. No, he's not. He looks so cute. Hi. Yeah, he's so cute. Hi. You having fun? <laughs> Hello, it's the next day. We had such a fun time last night for Luke's first Halloween. I should have vlogged more honestly, but we were just, my parents came over, we had chili, um, and we sat out in our garage. Zach like did the whole thing. Like we put the speaker outside of our house and um, he played like a Halloween playlist. And then we had like, um, we have a TV in our garage. So we were playing like Halloween movies and like the kids were like, oh my gosh, like the Casper movie and like all this stuff because different Halloween movies were coming on. And yeah, it was just really a sweet, sweet night. It's our first 
Halloween in this new house with a baby too. So yeah, it was just really sweet to see like all the kids and the parents dressed up and everyone just having just like a sweet, sweet time. So yeah, and there was like so many people, like we ran out of candy. We really didn't run out like as quickly as I thought we would. All the kids were so sweet and like we're only taking one piece, <laughs> which granted like by the time they got to our house, we live at like the end of our street. By the time we got to our house, like their little boo baskets and stuff were like full. So yeah, they probably really only needed one piece. But yeah, it was just a really sweet night and I am just really, really thankful for just, I don't know, it just made me reflect on how grateful I am for my family and just that we get to like have, like experience stuff like that together. And I don't know, it's just stuff like this that I just have always prayed for and getting to like dress up together and have like our cute little Halloween costumes. A lot of you guys were going crazy over our <laughs> little costumes in the photos that I posted. Um, and I do think that the, it turned out really cute for it being like a last minute idea. Um, Anyway, so all that to say, we had a really, really great first Halloween for Luke. And now I am making a coffee, or I just made a coffee in my Christmas mug because I am over. Like Halloween decorations, fall, pumpkin, all that. I'm ready for Christmas. So I obviously made a coffee in this to get myself in the spirit. I already started taking down some of our fall decorations. I'm planning to decorate for Christmas this weekend. So I'll maybe try and vlog some of that and do like a separate vlog of that. Also, I just turned on the lights in our kitchen because it's kind of, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like the camera, it like looks super dark behind me and like makes it look like our house is really dark. Our house is really not that dark. I think it's just like the way my camera like adjusts with the lighting. So I just turned the kitchen lights on. Maybe I should start filming with the kitchen lights on more because maybe it'll be better um, lighting for the vlog. So Luke just went down for a nap, by the way. I'm literally, I have my phone like stuck to the window right here watching him on the Nanit. I got this package in from L'Occitane also. I have decided I have to start doing buns now. So Luke is starting to grab like literally everything. So I would have my hair down all the time and then he would start grabbing my hair while I was like down. And so I was like, okay, I need to put my hair in ponytail. And now even with a ponytail, like my hair will like still be in his grasp and he is like grabbing my hair all the time and pulling it and so so yeah we're gonna be wearing um buns a lot now because i don't have any other way of doing my hair to keep out of his way or claw clips but either way my hair needs to be out of my face because and like out from his grasp because he is constantly pulling my hair when it's down so anyway but i got this huge box in i opened it last night and then i was like wait i need to open this for the vlog so let's unbox it together I'm excited to see like what's in here. Okay, cute. It's like a little ticket. I love L'Occitane's PR. It's like some of the best PR I get. Um, it says, blah, blah, blah. Okay, they sent two products and then their advent calendar. I was so hoping this was their advent calendar. They sent me their advent calendar last winter too, or last November. And they have a really good advent calendar, so. Let's see, okay, this is, wait, this looks so nice. It's an oil, I think. Actually, I think it's soap. <laughs> I just put it on my hand like it was oil, but it smells so good. Yeah, it's definitely soap, but that just made my hands so soft, just that little bit that I put on. So, love that. And it smells freaking amazing. I'm about to put this in our guest bathroom because it's just like the best when your guests like come over and they have a good smelling soap. Like you have a good smelling soap in your bathroom. Maybe this is, I bet this is a lotion, if I had to guess. Yep. <laughs> I have so many of these, but I can never complain because these are the best. I use this like my entire pregnancy. Not this scent necessarily, but it's their milk concentrate and it always smells so good, but I'm excited about this scent because if it smells as good as that soap does, I'm about to lather my entire body in this. That smells so freaking good. Like, I think this might be the best smelling one that they've come out with. Wow, okay, obsessed. Okay, I'm gonna try and take like a quick photo of this to post because I don't wanna run on this. It is in a hand lotion too. I love it, oh my god. Wait, there's more, okay, there's so much more in here. I need to like, hold on. Oh my gosh, it's in a full size of a hand cream. 
I'm obsessed. Like, thank you, Locks and y'all are the freaking best. They also sent over this full size hand cream. Let me put the monitor back up. I get really stressed. Like, I know the Nana monitor will like notify me if there's movement or sound, but like, I feel like I need to have my eyes on them at all times. We just started taking more naps, like upstairs and out of the living room area where I was like always like he was right there just because I think he sleeps better upstairs because he was taking really short naps down here so I think he sleeps better upstairs when he's away from like all the noise um even though he sleeps through noise fine but and I'm jinxing it because he's literally moving right now oh my gosh this smells so good look at this packaging too thank you oh my god okay now let's look at the advent calendar are you kidding okay I hope this is like getting you guys excited for Christmas time because it's getting me excited because I can literally just like, ugh, I'm just so excited. I love the holidays in general, but I literally am so excited to have a baby during the holidays now. Okay, I think it's all, yeah, so it's like double-sided and you just like pull the sides out like this and you just close it back. Okay, we will do this as we count down to Christmas, December 1st. So I'm gonna hang on to this. And this will be a little advent calendar for us to do during vlogs. I don't know if I'll do vlogmas again this year or not with a baby. It seems like it's going to be a little challenging. But we're going to put our best effort into doing that maybe. Anyway, he's starting to wake up. So I need to go settle him back down because he's only going to sleep for 20 minutes. And that is not a good enough nap. So I need to see if I can make him nap longer. Life of a mom. Hi you guys, it's been a little bit since I last vlogged and I wanted to just pop in really quick to end off this vlog before I start another one. Um, this is my last week of maternity leave. I'm really sad about it. I do go back to work um, obviously after it ends. So um, thankfully I work from home, which is really, really nice and don't have to like go like back into the office or anything. Um, I mean, I do, I have like quarterly meetings and stuff, but not, like every single day or anything, which, um will be nice it won't be like a hardcore like i have to like completely like up and leave and go back to the office um literally any mom that has to do that i feel for you so much um anyway so i'm gonna probably try and do one more vlog um of just like our normal everyday stuff before i return to work um and yeah obviously like i'll keep vlogging once i return to work and stuff too but it just won't be like how the vlogs have been because I haven't had anything else going on other than vlogging. So yeah, and like taking care of Luke, obviously. So um, anyway, but I wanted to end off the vlog and show you guys some um, of the Christmas decor that I've already started putting up. I know a lot of people think it's too early to decorate. I literally don't care. I am so excited to have our first Christmas with a newborn, with a baby, family of three. Last Christmas was like when I found out that I was pregnant with Luke and so it's just surreal now that like it's basically a full year later and I'm decorating with him here. And yeah, I'm just really excited. So I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I've already put up. Okay, first up is our Christmas tree. I got a new one because I just wanted like a traditional tree. I had a flock tree for the past like four years and I'm kind of over it. So I got this one from Home Depot. I'll have it linked for you guys so you can buy if you are looking for a new Christmas tree for this year. It's um, not the viral Home Depot one, but very, 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 very similar. It's basically the exact same thing. The branches are just a little bit different. And honestly, when I looked at it in store, I liked this one even better. I think this one looks even more real. And then I got these um, little bead, beaded garland. Um, and then I have like the bow on the top for our topper. And then I am planning for like ornaments this year. I'm going to do just red ribbon kind of tied on like sporadically around the tree. I think that'll be really pretty like versus doing the ornaments that I've done in the past. So that's kind of the vibe with the tree. But I love this tree and I'll show you guys. It has like different settings. So it has like this where it like twinkles which is what i really like right now um and then it has obviously it comes with this remote for you to control everything um and then it has just like normal it has like a slow fade it has flashing like if you want it to like go on and off like that um and i don't really know what this is i think this like does all of them um but yeah i've been leaving it on twinkling because i think it's pretty and yeah that is the tree 
for this year. I'm so excited. Well, for years to come, it was, um, it was definitely a pricier tree, and I told Zach I wanted to spend the money to get a good tree to have for years to come. And I just wanted a traditional tree. Like I said, I was kind of over the flocking. Okay, then over in this area, we have our stockings. I got new stockings this year. Um, these bells are like the same ones I've had. I am so excited now that I have a baby because I bought these with the intention in mind of like when they're sleeping, like to jingle these and like make them think like Santa's here with that kind of thing. So that's why I got those originally, but I keep them hung on our stockings every year. Both of these stockings are from Target. This is the Hearth and Hand brand though, and I love this one. I plan to do like beige and red and green this year, like basically just like a bunch of red accents. So this was like literally so perfect. Um, when I saw it, I was like, I need, and I didn't want to get two of them because I thought it would just be too much. So I got this one too, um, just from the normal Christmas section at Target and kind of layered them. And I really like how they look together. And then I just tied this around our lantern under here. Over here, I just have a little sleigh with pine cones and um, a blanket. This blanket I found at Home Goods like forever ago, and I'm still obsessed with it. It's like my favorite blanket ever for Christmas time. And then up here, I just put these wooden houses. I think I got these from the dollar section at Target like two years ago. Um, I really got rid of a lot of my Christmas decor this year. Once I went through the boxes, I was like, wait, I literally hate all of this. Like so much of my style has like matured and changed um but little stuff like this like simple stuff is like good i'm gonna keep it i also this is in the floor because zach has to hang it but i got this garland to put around our front door i don't think i'm gonna do garland on the mantle this year i just i don't know i liked how the mantle looks just like very like simple um but i got this garland to put around the front door i also have wreaths with bows to put on all of the windows in front of our house so that'll be really pretty okay and then in the kitchen i just hung this little wreath above the stove um i like how it looks there and then over in the coffee bar, bar area by the way we moved the olive tree over in that playroom um the one that was in our living room but yeah in the coffee bar area i just replaced the horse photo with this christmas tree photo that i've had for a while and then i put those little white christmas trees up there on that shelf and then i have this christmas tree down here so Kind of the vibe on the shelves i may add more but again i'm just like so into just the simplistic christmas like little hints of christmas around the house right now um so it might honestly end up staying like this but we will see but anyway yeah that is the vibes for christmas this year i am so excited about it i obviously haven't completely finished decorating but i wanted to at least show you guys like a little preview of what i have decorated so far so Halloween and Christmas all in one vlog, but I'm so excited for it to be like the holiday season officially. It's like my favorite time of year. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for all the vlogs and everything. I'm really going to be trying to keep more consistent with the vlogs and stuff because I feel like you guys have been like so interactive and so just like so nice lately. Like, I feel like I've had a lot more of you watching and commenting and DMing me and everything. And I literally love that. It's like my favorite thing about social media is like connecting with you guys. I'm hoping that I can just keep staying consistent, posting a bunch of vlogs for you guys. Um, like I said, especially this time of year, it's like my favorite time to vlog. So yeah, anyway, that is all for this one though. If you have not already, please subscribe. Like I said, so many new faces and lots of you just sticking around and engaging and stuff it makes me so happy. So definitely keep it up, stick around, subscribe if you haven't, and I love you all and I will see you in the next video.